In your estimation, what's the problem? Where are we falling short in what kind of supply? Um, it's clear, like uh, uh, your colleague just said, um, we're falling short in wind power. Uh, the UK is heavily reliant on wind power, as is the rest of Europe. Um, we're currently experiencing about half the amount of wind generation that we'd normally expect um, compared to seasonal averages. Um, so that's great. But it's like on top of red intensive cost like ethic prices. Um, we're getting a slight glitch on your line, so I'm, I'm hoping that's going to improve. So when the wind starts blowing, is this problem going to go away? Um, to some extent, yes. Um, uh, at the moment, uh, the derated margin, uh, so the amount of spare capacity that we have on the system is very tight, and that's because of uh, the lower than expected wind. Uh, so when the wind uh, does return, uh, we would expect that uh, margin to, to improve that will reduce the scarcity in the market. Um, however, there will be some upward pressure from um, commodity prices as well. It's hard not to look at this, what happened in the U.S. with the Texas deep freeze, although part of that problem is also natural gas as well. Um, are we having an, a fundamental storage problem? We just can't store the kind of energy that we need to, and that leads to these higher prices. Does that mean that we're going to have to just deal with higher prices until we get over this green energy transition hump? Uh, yeah, to some degree, um, yeah, we, we do have a, a storage problem with gas. So um, at the moment, storage levels are low and the supply of gas is low. And that's what we typically rely on when the wind isn't blowing. Um, when gas stock levels improve, um, that won't create uh, as much of an upward pressure on pricing. Uh, but longer term, we're going to have to deal with fluctuations in wind power. Uh, so when the, wind, when the wind isn't blowing, we do need to figure out ways of how to keep lights on. Um, so there are various technologies that are coming to market to try and solve that. Um, hydrogen uh, and battery storage and pump storage are uh, all ways that we can store up power. Uh, but what those things can help us for a few hours or a few days, perhaps. Uh, but when we experience long lulls of wind, uh, that's when uh, we probably need to turn to gas.